Hi there, my name is Julia Marquez. I'm going to show you the easiest salsa you're ever going to want to make. What you start with is two cans of tomato sauce, a little bit of salt, three to six garlic cloves, some chili um, pods. These are Japanese chilies, but you can also use the arbol chilies, and some cilantro. It's super easy and super good. So first, you want to open up your cans of tomato sauce. Okay, pouring your second can. Okay, the next step would be to put your chilies in. Actually, if you like it hotter, you might want to use a few more chilies. I'm going to put five chilies in this one. And as it sits, it'll soak up the moisture and get hotter every day. The next step is a pinch of salt. Mm, maybe two pinches. I like it salty. And throw in three or four gar garlic cloves. The next step is to get a bunch of cilantro. This is about a half a bunch. You just put it in and then you decide how fine you want to shred it. I'm actually going to blend this a little bit before I put my cilantro in just to get the chilies blended. Okay, so you want to make sure that the chilies get ground up and distributed properly through the salsa. So the next step, we're going to put this half a bunch of cilantro in. Get it all in there. Put the top back on. Pulse it a few times. Make sure that cilantro is all ground up. So the salsa is actually finished, but just as an optional step, you can put some green onion in at the end. And the salsa, as it sits in the fridge, will get hotter and hotter every day. So, so this was two green onions that I'm putting in here, just to finish it off. So now the salsa's done. Just take this little thing out without hurting yourself. Mm -hmm. Pour the salsa in the bowl. Hold in the green onion. This is the consistency of the salsa. See how it sticks to a chip? It's not a very chunky salsa. It's kind of saucy. Now, if you like your salsa hotter, when you put the chilies in, I would use six to 10. For less hotness, maybe three to four. Let me see. Ooh, it's awesome. 